Hey again, guys. Do you know what I like to do when we get a new Hall of Famer? I like to look at some baseball cards. So I got a package uh, today, and it came in a big box, and I wasn't expecting a package in a big box. And I'm looking for a return address to see who sent it, and uh, I don't see anything. And so I, I take a second look, and I see 66 written there. I'm like, no way. This is not a care package from Dave Blue Jacket 66. And I open it up and it surely was. It's not too often that I get a care package that makes me want to cry. But uh, this one did. And Dave, man, thank you. Dave hooked me up. I, I don't feel worthy of this. I'm going to have to pay this forward. But... Um, I got, man, I got some fabulous stuff. I got this uh, W554-1930 uh, Lefty Grove. And these are very rare. Just beautiful. And uh, 1936, uh, this is the uh, R311, and this is the leather version of Charlie Geringer. And, uh, wow, 1949, Phil Rizzuto did not have this one either. That's a beautiful example. And I think these are from 1906. And believe it or not, I don't have any Harry Hooper cards. So this is my first one. Man, and this is a, uh, what is this, Schuster and uh, Johnson candy. I don't have any cards from this set either. Uh, man, I love these old cards. And give me a Joe Wood, Smokey Joe Wood autograph. And Bob Friend. Now, uh, Bob Friend's cards are special to me because I had a, a friend uh, a long time ago who was president of the Shriners in Pittsburgh. And Bob Friend was a member of the Shriners. And so he was the potentate, not the president. He was the potentate. And he um, called me into his office one day. He says, I have uh, somebody coming over I think you want to meet. And... Uh, I went over and it was just me and the potentate and uh, Bob Friend sitting around talking. And I had told Bob, I was like, uh, like you won the last game at the Polo Grounds. And he didn't even know that. Uh, but really, a, a really gracious guy. Um, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of his. So that's awesome. Um, you can't have too many of these 87 Barry Bonds. Always loved this card. And the Bo Jackson, too. And he gave me some old Pittsburgh Steelers, Teddy Marchabroda. Uh, he's from Pittsburgh. Of course, he was a coach for the Colts. Quarterback the Steelers. And I got this one. And these were always clever. Get a quarterback. My man, Terry Bradshaw. From McDonald's. Man, back in the day, you used to be able to get so many cool cards at so many different places. And how awesome is this? This is an old vintage. I, I think this is from the 50s, maybe early 60s. I think it's from the 50s, early 60s. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Um, but it's a vintage bobblehead. I'm afraid to touch it. These are... Uh, a lot more uh, flimsy, not flimsy, but uh, uh, fragile, I should say, um, than the modern day ones that are made out of plastic. These were, uh, I believe, ceramic. Awesome. Did not ever own one of these. And he gave me two first days. Um, 
Jackie Robinson first days, one with Duke Schneider's autograph. And one with Leo the Lip. Dave, I mean, you're my collecting idol. I think you have uh, just the best collection. And uh, you were the first YouTuber I ever encountered, uh, YouTube card collector, I ever encountered on, on YouTube. And uh, man, this is, this is more than generous. Uh, I, I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, they've, they've come to a good home, I assure you. Uh, so that's what I have for you right now. Thanks for watching.